Hope you had a chance to check out that uh, full harvest moon last night. We want to thank Tasha uh, Rydell for this beautiful uh, picture of that full moon from last night. And it will appear uh, full again tonight, although it's not officially full. That occurred early this morning, but it's still going to be big and bright and beautiful. And it will come up just a little bit later than it did last night. Uh, if you're heading to the away game versus Pulaski County and Madison Central, kickoff is 730. Temperatures will be falling into to the lower 70s and then uh, after sunset we do expect to see those temperatures into the 60s again clearing skies with that near full moon out there so bring an extra layer probably will need it and some patchy fog will be developing overnight but overall a dry weekend and a dry and mild start to october which arrives on sunday and all of next week looking uh, pretty quiet as well there is our view from north of town on i-75 a few clouds drifting through uh, but again looking at some clearing skies as we lose that sunshine. Uh, those clouds will be melting away and temperatures again falling into the lower 60s, even some upper 50s by early tomorrow morning. Again, we'll wake up to some patchy dense fog, but sunshine and uh, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Sunday is looking pretty decent as well. And the early part of October across much of the Ohio Valley looking above average, at least in terms of temps. So temperatures tomorrow morning starting off into the mid and upper 50s. Northeasterly winds at around 5 to 10 miles per hour and seeing those temperatures again climbing into the upper 70s by the afternoon but uh, beautiful last day of September we say so long to September tomorrow and ring in the uh, first day of October on Sunday with those temperatures again running above average here by about five degrees Next week, a dry and mild start. Late next week, though, temperatures will fall as we see some additional rain chances move in.